Roberts, plus comedian Matt Rice. <laughs> you do have a great voice, actually. I've never been crazy about my voice. You can roll me to sleep. Yeah. And here's the five-day forecast. <laughs> Today on Kelly. We'll be right back with comedian Matt Reif. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, everybody, and happy Veterans Day tomorrow to all of our service members out there. We are here with Al Roker and Deborah Roberts. Over the last few years, our next guest made a name for himself as a comedian by independently releasing his stand-up specials. That helped him gain nearly eight million followers on TikTok, not too shabby. Now he's got his first Netflix comedy special coming out on November 15th. It's called Matt Rife Natural Selection. One of my biggest beliefs is in ghosts and monsters. <laughs> I'm a 28 year old grown man. And my biggest fear is the dark, dude. You don't know what's in there. You have no clue. I'll tell you what's in there. Ghosts and monsters. And y'all look ridiculous for not being more concerned about it on a day to day basis, dude. They're so real, and I'm such a man. I really am. I, I literally have to sleep with my TV on every single night because I've really convinced myself that if the TV's on, the ghosts are going to think I have people over. <laughs> I do. My whole family is Navy. Everybody from my uh, my uncle to my grandfather, my, my great-grandfather was a paratrooper in World War II, wow. which is insane to me. Because if you've ever been skydiving, you no, know... No, I haven't. Well, yeah. Uh, but if you have any level of depression at all, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> so were you always funny as a kid? Oh, yeah. You I, you I was in comedy? constant detention. And my mom, <laughs> Your my mom would whoop me for days to get detention. And now that same skill that got me detention just bought her a house. Oh, so, I have, yeah. There you go. Really? Who would have thought? Who yes, would have yes. And now I'm making money off of it. Whatever. <laughs> uh, so, did you know what you wanted to be? Did you have an idea of what you wanted to do when you were younger? I had no idea. I was going to be in television. I wasn't going to work on TV. I mm -hmm. wanted to work in. In fact, in my freshman year of uh, college, when I took a television performance class, my department chairman told me, Roker, you have the perfect face for radio. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Well, you can't hear that enough. Whatever. So, over, but you do have a great voice, actually. Well, so really. I've never been crazy about my voice. But oh my gosh. Voice. I sound like a valley girl. You sound like soldier. Like, it's got the low end. Like, uh, You can anyway. lull me to sleep, for sure. In the yes. Well, I, yes. I was going to say, that's, <laughs> that's, I don't know if that's a cow. No, it is a compliment. It is. But here's the five-day forecast. <laughs> <laughs> So wait, over 17 million followers. That's a little, it's intimidating, kind of overwhelming, right? A tad bit. It does feel like it came out of nowhere, but then I have to remind myself as much as it feels overnight because it did happen very fast via yeah. social media. I had been doing comedy for 12 years before that. So yeah. anytime I feel overwhelmed about like people coming up on the street or at restaurants or something like that, and they ask, oh, I'm so sorry to bother you. I'm like, no, you're not a bother at all. For 11 years, I've begged somebody to take <laughs> yeah. Are you kidding me? Notice me. Yeah. I, you know what's worse than everybody knowing you? Nobody knowing you. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. This is the first special for Netflix. And I, I couldn't be more excited because I think, again, it's just going to broaden me to a different audience that either sees me as just a TikTok comedian or someone yeah. who just does crowd work. I think they're going to be pleasantly surprised at what else I can do. Oh, I love that. And I love that when people underestimate you because then it's like fun and it fuels oh, you and you want to win them over. Oh, yeah. That's the best yeah. revenge success. The underdog is always a better position, in my opinion. Oh, but of speaking of his fans, though, this happened recently at one of Matt's shows. Watch this. Yo, can we get a uh, paramedic real quick? Paramedic, please. You okay? Oh, she's gonna cry. In here. Are you all right? <laughs> you feeling okay? You promise? Can I get a picture with you? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Just don't use her for the obituary. My God. <laughs> She, uh, she, she's okay. 
She's yeah. fine. Which is why the joke is funny. Yeah. Oh, of course, of course. No, we wouldn't have continued the show if that happens. Like, somebody get her out of here, I gotta plug merch. No, no, no. I, no. This looks... Uh, this was probably 25 minutes into one of our, our headlining shows, and I hear this commotion, and I look down, and I, I could see she's she's convulsing. So I, I immediately, once I recognized what was happening, I called for anybody being a paramedic in the room, and luckily the people at the venue and people who do work in the medical field that were in, in the audience rushed to her side immediately. I have to leave the stage when that happens so that I can be informed as to what's going on while she's getting tended to properly and yeah. not in anybody's way. And it was like seven or eight minutes later, I would say, my security came back and was like, hey, she she wants to stay. And I was like, I'll give her a refund. Like, she doesn't have to stay. But she, I went out there. And I was like, well, let me just go talk to her, make sure she's all right. And I walked out. And the first thing I said was like, are you okay? And she was like, yeah, can I have a picture? And I was like, yeah, no flash. <laughs> She had epilepsy. What a wild thing to ask first, man. But you go, you gotta, you got, you gotta respect the passion. You know, know. she wanted to stay. She had to, you know, but the carpe thing is, diem. Com comedy makes people happy. You make oh, people happy. You make people laugh. I forgot this, and I went to a show here recently in New York, and it made me feel so good to get out and just mm -hmm. laugh yeah, with other people. Yes, oh, absolutely. You have no idea. It brings people together to such an extreme level. You think yeah. it's just random jokes that you're just telling to make people happy. No, you we're all no connecting in a different way. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. She was such a good sport about everything. It's it's actually happened at a show for me, like it shows for me, like you're in live situations too, yeah. like where things have happened like that, and you get no you freak way. out because you're like, well, wait, because loud music, I'm like, make it go away. Like, Stop. Oh, Stop. Yeah. All oh, these kind of things happen all the time. We had a uh, we had an overdose in Indianapolis like Ooh. two weeks ago, and the audience was furious that he did not offer to share with the rest of the crowd. Oh. 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 I had no idea Indianapolis yeah. was so ratchet. Like they were so <laughs> upset. <laughs> Like, usually people rally behind something like that. They're like, yeah, make sure he's okay. And they were like, selfish. <laughs> selfish.